Hey guys, Jesse Peters with No Limits Investing. Today I'm going to show you how to install an over the range microwave on a custom vent hood. Let's go. Now the first thing that you're going to want to look at once you have all of your pieces and your microwave out of the box are these templates. So it comes with two templates, one for the rear wall, as it says right there, and then one for the upper cabinet. So the one for the rear wall basically is for this bracket here, and it is right here. That will be on the back wall that will support it from underneath, the microwave from underneath. So it shows you here your point A and your point B, and you can use any of these in between um, to hit a stud as well. Luckily for us, we've got a, an entire wood wall behind that drywall, so it's gonna be super easy for us, but that is how you'll do it if it's just a stud. The upper cabinet, um, Basically, the only thing that really matters here is this hole, this two inch diameter hole, and that'll be for the power supply cord. Um, all the other stuff does matter, of course, but that'll go on the bottom. This is the center line to that, and that'll, that'll just show you where it hooks up really easy. So your first step would be to take this rear wall template, put it back here to where everything lines up, And I'm going to mark for the A and the B holes right here. Blood right on through. I used a, a, a Sharpie pin marker and that really seems to help. It bleeds through onto the wall. Um, there's also a cutout for a drywall vent. It shows you right here in the gray section. I think you can see that. Uh, right here, we don't have a, a wall vent, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, now we've got our bracket there on the back. Basically, all we did was just mark our holes, put our screws in, and I added one more in the C part, and there's our center line. Yeah, that's a little hard to do one-handed, but marked my two-inch diameter for the power supply cord there. I'm gonna move that. Got it there. And I didn't drill that out. One more thing I forgot to mention are the two markings, one right there, and one right there, and they will allow these screws to come down from the inside into the top of the microwave. We'll go in right here and right here. Next step is to cut the two inch diameter hole for the power supply. All right, so the easiest way to tackle this would be to have a two inch paddle bit there. Um, it'd be, I mean, less than five seconds, you'd be done. I don't have a two inch paddle bit for my um, DeWalt driver, but I do have these. So I'll probably hit here a couple times and I'm just gonna have to use my Sawzall. Normally I would use my Jigsaw, cause it'd be a lot easier, um, less noise and all that, but I just broke my last blade to my jigsaw. Don't feel like going to the store to get one, so I'm just going to use my saws all that's here. Actually, the next thing we need to do is orient our blower fans the way that we need to for our ventilation. So pretty simple. All you do, remove these two screws. I'm going to do that, not one-handed so I don't lose them down in there. Once you do that, this plate comes off as you'll see. This plate then can slide up. Take it off. I've got two screws here. I'll take it off and then we can, we'll be able to, to lift our um, our fans up and adjust them.
All right, so what we do now is we don't want this fan, it, it spins like this, so this way. So we want it to spin that way with this opening facing out. So simply, I may not do it one-handed, but lift this up. We're gonna rotate it to where this is facing that way, and then we can put our stuff back on. We're gonna put our stuff back on, these two screws here, back plate will slide on, top plate, screw it down. Next step is to lift it up there. It says on the box that you should do it with two people. I don't have that luxury at the moment. So you guys gonna probably get a laugh out of me trying to do it on my own. Let's try it out. Okay, so it's pretty heavy. I'd recommend two people. Again, I don't have that luxury. So basically, this thing is gonna hook onto uh, the hooks on that back plate. I lift it up, two screws go down where I showed you. That's the, that's the given. If I hurt myself, I'm not putting it on this video, uh, so it probably won't be on here. So just keep watching. All right, guys, there you have it. Not the easiest thing to do with one person, but like I said, you start out um, hooking it onto that back. You lift it up like this, uh, put the cord through, two screws down to the top, and there it is. So I'm gonna add some trim work to the custom vent hood, of course, to kind of make it look a little bit better. But the stove comes in, have a matching set there. Thanks for watching. All right, so just a little bit messier than my original plan, but holes cut, done. <laughs> Did forget one thing, need to drill those two holes. Need to drill those two holes for the screws that'll come from the top. And I need a new drill bit set.